cash flow hungry to reach the final. But first, his semifinal opponent, sweet boy sweet, Josh Watson, a 30-year-old diesel mechanic. He's also a father of two. But did you know he is a Spielberg wannabe? Carpet burn. It took me three years to make Farm Blood, the movie. I need some help bad. Get your butt over here, you hear me? Who you got? We need help. I got everybody. I am the mighty wizard. Tough man, I'll get me a bigger, better camera like that one, and I'll make a bigger, better movie, Farm Blood 2, The Revenge of Phoenix. Three words for you, Frank. Straight to video. <laughs> really? I thought straight to Hollywood would be a little Oh, stop problem. it now. No, no, no. Sweet boy, sweet's wife, Whitney, may be ready to do a documentary of her own on her boy, Winning best damn tough man light heavyweight. You I like, like his chances here in the semis? I do. I really do like his chances. He's got good motion, good movement. I like his chances of getting out of the first round. Winner advances to face Jules in the final. Where the winner of that match will walk away with $20,000. Sweet boy, sweet with obviously a reach advantage. And a hyperactivity advantage as well. <laughs> Cash flow just methodical, taking his time, trying to use a left several times. Catches Sweet Boy Sweet a little bit there, Frank. Well, I don't know if he got caught or showmanship. I can't really tell with this guy. He does such a great rope with rope in the middle of the ring. It's hard to tell what he's doing on the ropes. 15 seconds to go in the opening round. Oh, oh there's a solid left. No acting there by Sweet Boy Sweet. That hurt, and he is down on the canvas. <laughs> what is that face? Wow, I don't care what anybody says. I don't care how much he sells it. That hurt. That does it for the opening round, and Sweet Boy Sweet stunned. Good step in. Castro picking his time. Nice oh. headshot. Win on top of the head. You know, Cashflow was smart, took his time, didn't fall into the antics, did a good job of not falling into Sweet Boy Sweet's rhythm. Yeah, I think Sweet Boy Sweet should have called for the body double on that one. <laughs> or at least another camera angle. <laughs> on to the second round, Cashflow hasn't even cracked a smile at this point. He is all business. I don't know, is, uh, is Sweet Boy Sweet, is that potato or steak in front of him? Yeah. Which one is it? Oh, there's a nice little right from Sweet Boy Sweet. Still has time to get back in this bout. Cashflow's punches just seem infinitely more powerful than Sweet Boy Sweet, right? Yeah, Sweet Boy Sweet's almost, you know, tip-tap and trying to pick a guy apart and make him frustrated by his antics and the way he throws. Cashflow's trying to hurt you. And he is doing just that through the first oh. minute and a half of this bout. Sweet Boy Sweet bouncing off the ropes. Another solid punch from Cashflow while Sweet Boy Sweet just swinging it air, Frank. Yeah, he's missing everything now. Cashflow spot out what exactly what Sweet Boy Sweet's doing. He sees his rhythm, knows how he's backing up now. He's not going to let him dive into him. As soon as Sweet Boy Sweet plants his feet, Cashflow hits him in the jaw again. Nice stiff jab. I think Sweet Boy Sweet hit more air than anything else that round. A lot, a lot of air balls that time. Cashflow's winning this, you know, won the second round, won the first round. He's obviously winning this fight. I don't think Sweet Boy Sweet has knockout power. Every time he starts swinging, he gets punched right in the chin to the chest. Smart job by Cashflow. Really, I think this fight now is out of reach for Sweet Boy Sweet. On to the third and final round. And Frank, you would agree, Sweet Boy Sweet needs a knockout in order to advance to the finals. Absolutely. There's no way for him to get it otherwise. And he doesn't have that knockout power. He just doesn't have it. Well, let's see if he can prove Frank Trigg wrong. 
How dare you? I'm never wrong. <laughs> another couple air balls from Sweet Boy Sweet. And another one. It's like watching Shaq at the free throw line. He's just not connecting with anything. There's another solid shot from Cash Flow. The other thing that Sweet Boy Sweet's doing too is he's ducking his head every time he gets a big punch in, and that's how he's getting hit on the top of the head. That's just gonna knock him down to the canvas again. Cashville cut him with it the first round. He could catch him with it again here in the third. Final 15 seconds to go. Sweet Boy Sweet's gonna have to come up with a miracle. He's still talking to somebody. Unbelievable. Final few seconds. And cash flow. Three solid rounds here in the semi. Yeah, just dominated, pushed and pushed and pushed. Castle did a great job against a very unorthodox Sweet Boy Sweet. Sweet Boy Sweet throws some weird haymakers or throws some crazy angles and then tries to outsell you. Every time he did that, Castle got smart, pushed him in the head. Let's get an official decision. Here's Art Door. We have a decision, close decision. Winner, Yellow Carter. Come on, Mr. Is that acting? Well, Mrs. Sweet Boy Sweet, not happy either. I'll be back. Never. Okay, buddy. Take care. Cash flow, I think this is the first time I've ever said this this whole event, but I really wish you would have knocked his ass out. I tried to, man. I swear I did. Hey. He doesn't have that knockout power. Oh, is that a fact? I'm fixing to smash your other ear.